Black Whisper Crafts. I just wanted to show off my very first junk journal. Just started junk journaling a couple months ago, maybe. I've done all kinds of arts and crafts and been card making for many years, but I came across junk journals and I thought this is really cool. I know it sounds funny to not have known about it before now, but that's just how it is. I wasn't in, not in a circle of crafters that were doing junk journals, I suppose, but it doesn't matter. I just thought it was the neatest thing ever. And I was like, I have a whole craft room full of things. And I was so excited. I was like, I have to do this. I just have to do this. So this is my first junk journal. And I'll go ahead and start with the tassel. It turn it around in the correct direction. There we go. Okay, first of all, I have it hooked on the little fastener that has the little hoop. That, that is, this is the little Tim Holtz charm holder thing that I have it all hooked onto. And I have a little crystal there that had been wire wrapped. And I have my little anatomically correct little skull. You can't see if you tell if you can. I can't tell if you can see. Little arms and legs move. It's one of my very favorites. And I put one of my creepy little Victorian hands on charms on there. And then it also holds on the actual tassel. This is the book book ring. I believe that's what it's called when you can open it and close it. I did it on for got that one for a reason so that I could add things on if I wanted to. But I left keys, so I added the keys. There's another creepy little hand. Just attached it with the little jump ring. Just stuck it through the lace. There's a little skeleton. And I don't know if you can hear the bells. I have bells on here. I love bells. And this is just the material that I use on the side here. I'll explain that later on that coffin. And I just put all kinds of little ribbons and yarn and whatnot. I love these little keys, goth looking, but they were purple, so that's adorable. And just all through here. And I did put a little hot glue up in there to hold those pieces in because some of them are really wispy. Wanted to fall out another bell. And then there's another key in there. It's the same key, but I just wanted two of them in there. And this is the second tassel that I made to go on it. At the very end, I will show the first tassel that I made and I have my bat charms on it. I need to get some more bat charms because I love bats and I want to put some on here. But that is the charm charms on the tassel and the ring and the whole nine yards on that and there's the cover and this print right here it is every other skull this one would be right side up the next print would be upside down right side up upside down the same to the sides so that means this one on the spine would have been upside down which is upside down so I just cut a piece off of the creepy little material coffin and I just glued it right on top. Just to take care of that because that really bothered me that it was upside down. And I just took some little plastic hands and glued them on, a little bone, and a little bit of, I'm not sure what this is called, but it just looks like a ratty material and I like it. It just looks shabby. And I put all the little corners on the front and the back of the book. And I made this out. The base is a cereal box. And then I did glue chipboard onto the cereal box just to make it extra sturdy, which I'm glad I did. And this is also the material that the little coffin is made out of that I use to cover up the end. And this is the inside. And I have four signatures. Learning everything, what everything is called, a signature. And this is just, I just glued on top. Of course, I did this material over the whole thing. And then I just glued this on top because I like the, it looks like lace, but it's just actually um, 
scrapbook. What do you call it? Cardstock. Oh my goodness. My words are running away from me. And I'm just going to go through a quick look at it because there is a lot in here and it is my first one. I really, I was really excited about it, but I see a lot of things I could have done differently, but it is a junk journal. So mine does look pretty chunky, but this is really cool. I like how this turned out. This is the tissue paper on top of cardstock and I just my it underneath and above and then just put some washi stickers on it. I think it looks really cool. This is the first signature. And this, you can write journal right there. You can flip it up and there's the moon and the handprints and everything. So pretty. That's a butterfly. I don't know if you can see it. I can get my hands underneath this. Open it up. Another spot to journal. And another spot to journal. I really like this one. It turned out pretty. And I went ahead and Mod Podged over this lace cutout because it's pretty flimsy. But now it's pretty durable. It kind of feels like leather. And put some little cards in there. So you get the journal there. And then here's just a little pocket. Just a corner pocket. It's really cute. You can journal there and journal there. And I made a lot of these to put in here so I can add to it. And I already did a video on this, but I'll show it real quick. Put that little bitty thing in there. There's my little charm on there and my little, I don't know what you call it. It's not macrame. Just a bunch of knots and a bunch of beads. But you open it up and you open it up and there it is. And it goes to this. Little places to journal. Favorite number 13 on there. And you can open up here and journal, journal, and journal. Really cool. And then I really like the other side. This was my first shaker, so I'm going to shake her out of the other side. But this actually is an envelope that my love gave to me when I said this is what I was going to do. There's the part of the envelope, and there's the size of it. There's the flap. I'm turn it this way, and then there are the window envelopes, so. That was my first attempt at that. I think I did too bad on that one. And this is some copy stain papers that I just made into journaling pages. That's my favorite with the bats and the little whips. It's cute. And I love keys. And I see a lot of keys stickers. So that's what I'm going to use this for. Or anything about keys. I love old antique key skeleton keys. And here's another little pocket. And this is one of my first attempts at a little book. I know some of these are really crude. And the people who do these all the time are professionals at it. Kudos to you. This is a lot of work, really, to come up with your ideals. But anyway, it's a little book. And I just copied these pages out of off the internet. And then a little spot to journal. Some washi stickers. An old castle, journaling spot. That's really pretty. Journaling spot. Lots of spaces to journal. And then I made a little bookmark that's attached. Lots of little spots to journal. I love creepy little things. So it started coming apart. So I just stuck some washi tape there. And reinforced it with some Tombow glue. And all good to go. I just poked holes in them and put some yarn. I have no idea. I had no idea. Still don't really know what I'm doing. It just it's really fun. And it falls out if I turn it the other way. So I'll turn it this way and stick tuck it in there. And this is my first attempt at beet juice stained papers. I thought it turned out really pretty. And there's how I started tearing a little bit. I'm really, really new at all of this. Never bound anything. So I think it turned out okay. That's the middle of my first signature. Another little attempt at a book. I like that black on black. It's pretty. Another little picture I copied off the internet. Little place to journal. I like this middle part. I just think it looks cool. My little dually and I stamped on it. Just little spots to journal in. 
Journal Journal. So cute. I'm really excited about it. I just put it this way just because it doesn't make it so bulky to close. And here's another little spot to put little papers to journal. Stamped on the back of that. I like little things like that. It's like pink food. There's the rest of it. And there's the other part of this, the tea stain. And my first attempt at making envelopes it doesn't quite match, but I don't care. I think it's cute. I did it. I'm really proud of myself. A little spot to journal. You can put more papers in there if you'd like. And yeah, my first little attempt at making envelopes. The other ones are much better. This is probably the worst one, but I liked it. This looks kind of creepy and old. I could put something in there. And this piece is really thick and nice and some of my um, washi stickers that was the back of the um, packaging. I liked it. Just some little papers to turn on and that's the end of the first signature. This is the beginning of the second one. Little papers to turn on. That's cute. I like those doilies. It just amazes me everything you can use to make something in a journal journal and some more little spots i did emboss that i just like the feel of it it feels cool this is tea stained paper that i made i just like creepy little things like that there's a little spot to journal and here is miss you to death a little spot to journal and this is actually a postcard and we have this little thing. There's the lock and the key. You can open it up and all these little papers that you can journal on them. And there's the back and to journal on. I just stamped all of the backs of all of these creepy little papers. And mushrooms. And then there's no words to write on the back, so I just stamped on the front of it. That'll work. That's really cute. It's my most of these things are my first attempt at whatever it is. So, journaling there. And I realize it looks primitive and probably not professional at all, but I made it and I was really proud of it. I am still really proud of myself. And this is my coffee stain papers, I believe, or tea stain, maybe. The coffee is really light color. The center. There's a big blob of coffee right there. I liked it, so I just made it accentuated it and this did say spooky but I put over it bingo just another little creepy piece of newsprint that I made into something that you can turn on and I think they call this a belly band when it goes the other way but it worked better for me to go up and down so that's what I did and Pretty cute looking. You can see the creepy skull behind. And I just put a few little spots to journal on some butterflies. Washi stickers, of course. There we go. All the little pages. And did I sew this one? I think I sewed. Yes, I did. I sewed this one too. That it just stays even better. More places to journal. And then a little spot for the bread. Creative. Open it up and you can put a journal there too. I did put lines there also. And then journal spots. Journal spots. And then decorate this paper postcard so you can journal on that. this little thing up. Okay, that was the end of my second one. This is the middle. I just put that ribbon over there because I put my Brad fastener thing on after I had put my signatures in and glued everything in. They hadn't come in the mail yet and I thought that I just had to have them. So, But I wanted to go ahead and finish my book. Didn't do too well on the stitching, but I think I did it really Really good job for my first one. A little spot to journal. And I really like this paper. I didn't want to cover it up. 
And if you untie this, it flips out. It's a little secret spot to put little secrets in there. More journal space, more journaling, the beet stained, beet juice stained papers. More journaling spots. And then here's a little bitty creepy space. You can put your little cards, journaling cards in. Like I said, this is my very first one, so I'm surprised that I did so well. I'm just excited that I completed it. I think bats are lovely. And then one for traveling. There's just, this is an envelope also. You can see I folded it in half and slid that down and half of the envelope is on the other side. But got a little spot for some creepy little notes. Just stamp them all and put some lines on them. Just all black and white, it's really cute. Just creepy little stuff. Close it up on the other side. Had your little tag. I know you had those, so I just stamped on the back and put some lace on there. That's cute. Some more of my tea stained papers. And this is the other side of the envelope. It's a little spot you could put a picture or something, a washi sticker, write, whatever you want to do. And then here's these are all spider themed. Little spiders. Spiders. A little few bats and spiders. And it's just the same black and white paper. A little spot to journal there and here. Time. I love old time pieces. And then there's floral, so pretty. My favorite, number 13. Beautiful. I love the way the beet, the beet juice stains. It's so pretty. Another place to journal. Then here, this is a bookmark. A spider popped up. And this is the other piece to that first postcard. And make your own magic. Put my hand over there. As these are people that are not all fully dressed, but they're holding the moon. And then there's the little bats. A card to journal on. I like this is my spider web page. Now all this creepy spider is going up. And then here's the witch, number seven, place to journal. And then number three, and the place to journal. And number 13, and the place to journal. And I'm all nice and creepy little things. And this is the very last one, number four. I just put some little sayings on there that I really liked. It's really cute. And then this is for some more journaling cards. I think they're really pretty. Some moons. Just some little random cards. You're magical. Jar. And apothecary set. Oh, I had one in here. There it is. I see crafting in your future. <laughs> That's so cute. I made this envelope and I'm sure, I'm pretty sure I did a video on that envelope. And this is grid paper. I love grid paper because I can make lists. I can bullet journal. I can journal. I can sketch. Not that I can sketch, but <laughs> draw something out if I need to. But there's enough for here. There's 12 pages so for one for every month of the year but they're all pretty much the same and I just use these stickers that I have never used I might have used them for a few things but I just used these to make the tabs because they were clear so every page is the same except for the tabs are different
And then all my little moon stickers that I really like. And that's the end. I did this all by myself. Just amazed me. I really did this. And put those little, I don't know what those are called, the book corners or something. And tie it all up. I made this string really long. I didn't know how thick it would be whenever I got finished. So that's why it's so long. Here it is. There's my very first junk journal. I'm really excited about it. And I'm going to show you, this is the tassel that I have on it. Right there. This is the tassel that I first made to go on it. Look, it's a little bit too big. <laughs> I thought it would be up there and hang down. But as it is, if you hook it on there, it hangs and everywhere. There's just too much of it. I think this one is just perfect, the size. It's just perfect. I don't know if you can see it or not. This one is huge. It has the big hands on it, the big skeleton hands, I mean. All kinds of stuff. It's really nice. I'll use it on something else, but not on this. This one to show you how big that one was. But thanks for watching a walkthrough of my very first junk journal. I'm really proud of it. There's a lot of things I would do different and a lot of techniques and things that I'm sure I did totally wrong. But all in all, I'm really proud of it and I think it turned out great. Thank you for watching Black Whisper Grass.